Hey guys, Jesse with Tiny Ida Homes. We're here with our newest model, the Arion. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick tour of some of the features of this one that sets us apart from anybody else. You'll see a lot of covers on the outside. Everything in here is off-grid, propane, electric, uh, ready. So furnace, everything. Uh, one big feature is the big automatic awning here. This thing, all electric, LED lights, in and out, very, very easy. Has a wind sensor, it'll close automatically. From the outside, you'll notice the handrail up top, uh, all aluminum handrail. This model has a rooftop deck up there, which we'll show you later. But uh, let's come on in and uh, give you a quick tour. You'll notice inside of here how wide it is. Very wide. That's due because of this slide out. Uh, we've got a big slide out right here. Big old dinette, soap uh, area. This right now is currently pushed out. Got two tables. They can stay together one big table or you can take these guys apart put half of this down as a bed both down as a bed leave them both up couch dinette however you want to configure that ample storage through this thing storage in the back all those cubbies underneath is all storage we got power outlets everywhere uh, storage underneath every one of these seats big kitchen look at how much room you got here look at all these cabinets this is more storage than some houses have in their kitchens. And we fit it all in 26 foot tiny house. So um, everything, I mean, corner cabinets, white farm sink, beautiful sink there. Right now we just got a wine chiller on display. Uh, we got a Dometic fridge freezer, eight cubic. Uh, we got uh, this is propane or electric. Propane oven, cooktop, electric, microwave. Uh, you'll notice the nice LED light boxes, LEDs under the cabinets, toe kick lights underneath. We got heating ducts. That's for the gas furnace throughout this entire thing. So if you don't have electric, you can run your furnace, your gas furnace, and still stay warm in this tiny house. This model has holding tanks in it, this particular model. So we can literally go off grid, go camping in this thing. 50 amp power connection. Right now we're ru running everything on 20 amps. It will run on battery also, all the lights, everything. Big bathroom. This bathroom right here, see, full-size bathtub, shower. Closed closet, hanging rod in there. Down below that, washer dryer combo. Beautiful, beautiful sink in here. Nice sink. And then here's your porcelain RV toilet. Pocket door for the bathroom. And again, everything, all the lights and exhaust fans in here are all 12 volt, run off the battery. Right outside the bathroom, you'll see this ladder. Well, this ladder pulls out for access up to the loft. I'm gonna call this the kids loft. Right now we got two single beds up there. There's some storage on the back side. This loft is almost the same as the other, so we'll show you. Again, we got heating ducts on the stairs. This is a return air. As you're going up, you'll see the TV over here for the dining room area. And it's also got a stereo on the far cabinet. Speakers through the ceiling, 12 volt lights. Okay, we're in the master loft here. This is a queen size bed. Uh, you got some storage cubbies behind. Every one of our rooms has 12 volt, our USB and cigarette lighter plugs and 120 outlet too, so. There's our ladder, comes back down again. This guy here, you unclick the latch and you pop open the roof hatch here. We'll walk up on here and show you this rooftop deck, but this is the access to the rooftop. We got an inflatable couch setting up here just for show purpose. And uh, you can see hand railing, beautiful view. We're 12 foot in the air right now. 
It's great. Speakers, outlets again, cable connection, and a TV mount up here. Flagpole, 